Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Gamer. I'd like to apologise straight off the bat for uh, the lateness of this video. It should have come out uh, at the end of last month, but uh, because of Easter and the children being home, I kind of missed out on doing that. So, uh, yeah, apologise for that. Uh, but here's what I got done. So this is my usual roundup of what I got done, and this is for the month of March. So I don't count terrain as... As you know, I, I, I do paint some terrain, but I don't usually count the terrain. But I did manage to paint quite a bit of terrain, so I thought I'd show you. This is what I got done uh, during the month of March. So I got these uh, little uh, computer screens done from the Mantic uh, Star Saga game. And I got a load of 3D printed wooden objects uh, painted up. So all in all, I managed to get 48 pieces of small scatter terrain painted up. But, you know, these are just on top of whatever I managed to get done, as in figure-wise painting. But, you know, it is good. It's nice. It's uh, good to have because you're going to need them for, uh, like, um, Frostgrave, etc., you know. But there. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's a, just a very quick look at some of the terrain I had done. So on to the miniatures, and as you can see, I did this dreadball team, the convicts, and I painted them up in this kind of um, South American, you know, sort of the drug cartels with their painted faces, uh, skull painted faces, etc. Uh, this was done for the Blackjack Legacy um, challenge that he had going at the time, and there's eleven miniatures for this uh, from Mantic. So the next two are these two cowboys from the Firefly Brigands and Browncoats game. Paid up to a board game standard, nothing particularly special, but, you know, they're good enough. They're quite nice little miniatures, they're, they're a bit soft uh, in detail, but they're okay. So obviously I'm back to painting two of these uh, orcs from uh, Warhammer 40k. I love doing this, I did a little bit of kit bashing, throwing a few... Um, plague and uh, enforcer pieces from Mantic onto them just to give them a little bit of a, a bit of a twist and I really like the way the shield turned out. We got these 3d printed like dungeon critters which yeah just painted really because uh, you can always do a few more dungeon critters really <laughs> you know. Uh, we got these um, victims which uh, we'll call Dodo and his friends um, yeah, from the Warlords Atlantic Spider set, and they painted okay. gay. We got five of these troopers from uh, Star Saga. I think they can also be used in Dead Zone, which is good, because uh, I like Dead Zone, so yeah. But they're kind of generic troopers. And then we got the B team for... Um, Aliens and of a glorious day in the Marine Corps, and these are kind of the guys who died in the first half of the movie, generally speaking. The same problems as with the other miniatures, the details aren't particularly great. The standouts are Burke, who, yeah, why he's a standout, I don't know, but he is a bit of a standout, and uh, so is Drake, as you can see. There's some quite nice detail on them, and it does pick out quite well, so yeah, they're okay, but yeah. This is a picture of all the miniatures I got painted this month. Plus there were another four xenomorphs that somehow disappeared somewhere. <laughs> but I managed to, you, as you can see there in the corner of this picture. So all in all, I managed to paint, um, well, taking away two miniatures because I only half what the xenomorphs are. I managed to paint 32 miniatures this month. So I managed to get my uh, one a day done, which is brilliant. And overall, there has been 84 days this year so far, and I've painted 120 miniatures. So as you can see, I'm rocketing ahead, and I'm really hoping I can keep up with this. Although, over the holidays, it's been a bit of a slow period for me painting. But until next time, goodbye, and good luck from Welsh Miniature Board Gamer.